It's what you do in the dark. A natural pioneer. That, that story in the news about the submersible. Nick Hajazi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Another YouTube vid. I'm getting ready for back day, packing my bag. This is non-stop work. Every single day I'm showing up, no matter what, no matter how I feel, no matter how much pain I'm in, no matter how I'm aching, I might be tired, I might be sick, I always show up. No matter my circumstances, I always find a way to make that walk to the gym and get there, no matter what. A lot of people make excuses, they take days off, they don't want to show up, it's a Saturday, it's, on, it's, it's the weekend, they don't want to go. Listen, I'm tired right now, I don't feel like training. I've got to go do heavy deadlifts. My body's in pain, I haven't taken a day off the gym in, you know, we're talking 25, 26 days. So I'm in pain, I'm tired. But I've got a relentless will, a relentless will to keep pushing no matter what, so enjoy this video guys. Full back workout coming your way. How to build a massive, wide, thick back naturally. Tough session, I'm in a lot of pain. But you gotta keep pushing, you gotta push through. No matter how you feel, no matter how your mind feels, you gotta find a way to keep going, keep pushing forward. I really wanna get my deadlift to 270 kilo for one, for a one rep max. That's my goal by the end of this bulk. That's what I'm pushing for. And I'm really trying to increase the volume and, and gear my workouts to try and achieve that. But I'm tired, man, it's tough, it's tough. Saturday night, most people are out getting bloody pissed, hammered. I'm in here, pushing it, working. It's what you do, it's what you do in the dark when no one's watching. It's what you do when you're the only one in the arena, when no one's watching and you're the only one that can account for the work you put in. That's when greatness happens. Anyone can show up when everyone else is showing up. Anyone can show up on a Tuesday. Anyone can show up on a Wednesday. What about a Saturday or Sunday? When most people are seeking pleasure. What are you doing then? Nick Ajazi, the founder of the Mendes Cartel. Okay, weighted pull-ups. Weighted pull-ups, my weighted pull-up strength goes down significantly when I'm bulking. My strength goes down big time because of my increase in body weight, so they get a lot harder. My entire back workout is geared around width. 
So I'm doing pull downs. I mainly only do pull downs. Other than deadlifts, which I started on, the majority of my back workout is built around pull downs, which work with, remember rows work thickness. So I'm not doing many rows. Really trying to get wider. The main goal of this bulk is to get as wide as possible. Alright guys, I just finished up my workout, I'm back now cooking up my post-workout meal, great back session. I started with heavy deadlifts, which I, also, which I always start with, I did a 5x5 five five on, on deadlifts. I then moved on to pull up, uh, sorry, I then did stiff leg deadlifts, I did two sets of stiff leg deadlifts because I'm trying to work on my hamstrings, which are one of my weak points, my posterior. I didn't film that, I didn't show that. I then moved on to pull-ups, which you saw. I then did underhand machine rows, which you also saw. I then did neutral grip lat pull-down, which you saw. And I finished with a single arm unilateral pull-down, which I did not film either. I didn't film that. But that was my full workout. Quality workout, painful Saturday night. A lot of people don't show up on the weekends. You know, they, they work hard during the week. On the weekends, they do absolutely fuck all. You know, they, they really do nothing. Um, but, you know, I love to train, man. This is what I do. I love this. I love to, to push myself. I want to push the natural limits of what's possible. I want to see how far I can go naturally. It's my, I, 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 want to be one of, I want to be a pioneer, a natural pioneer. How far can I push this naturally? How great can I become? Where can I be in two decades naturally? I have the patience, I have the work ethic. A lot of people don't have the patience, so they jump on the gear. But I have the patience, I have what it takes to be successful. But it's been a, it's been a tough week of training, it really has been, you know. And it's, it's been a crazy week, really. That, that story in the news about the submersible, about how that ti Titan submersible that went down to see the Titanic, that imploded on the way down. That was, that's a crazy, mad story. Fascinating. First, first and foremost, my thoughts and prayers go to the families of the people that passed away. Um, a horrific tragedy. But from, from a, just from a fascination standpoint, it's, you know, a lot of people initially thought it was that the, they lost communications and the, 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 the sub submersible was on the bottom of the ocean and the people were still alive and they were trying, they were banging on it. You, there, there was, that people said there were banging noises being heard. That was all lies, but that didn't come out as truth. The Navy actually knew on Monday morning that it was an implosion, but they didn't reveal it to the public for obvious reasons. You know, if, if, if you listen to actually what, if you listen to David, um, Dave Cameron's, what Dave Cameron says on this is incredibly interesting. He, for me, he has, he has the best commentary on what, what actually happened. He talks about the fact that the carbon fiber hole, which is insidious, it allows micro amounts of water to pass through over time, is the reason that the implosion happened. He talks about the carbon fiber hole. He talks about the integrity of the actual submersible and says that it's, it's far better to build a submersible with with steel or titanium. And he, he had a very interesting commentary on it. I'd, I'd go, go, go have a listen to what Dave Cameron says. Very intelligent man, but a little bit off topic there. Went on a bit, went on a bit of a tangent just now, but yeah, man, the world's crazy. It's, we live in such a big world. So many different stories happen at the same time. I like to, I always say simplify life. I like to simplify life, focus on money, 
focus on muscle and focus on pussy. Those are the only three things a man should focus on. No man should, 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 should care about going and seeing the Titanic. Why are you going down to see the Titanic? Who cares? Who cares, man? Focus on going to the gym. My back is a far more beautiful sight than the Titanic will ever be. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Stay tuned. Follow me on this journey. It's the very early stages of this journey. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Nick underscore Hijazi. And as always, long live King Charles III and God bless Sir Winston Churchill.